In this Blackboard session, we're going to discuss blockchain languages. Which programming language do you have to learn in order to become a blockchain developer? Maybe you already know some programming languages. Maybe you're just starting out and you want to know which language to pick to start with. This video will tell you. So if that sounds interesting, if you want to become a better developer or if you want to be a blockchain developer, click the like, subscribe to this channel. Also subscribe to Morales Web3 channel where my team and I are pushing a lot of programming content each and every day, as you can see how to build a deck how to build a game, how to build NFTs, how to build on Avalanche, on Polygon, on Binance Chain. We teach you everything there. So go there and subscribe if you are a developer. And let's talk about the different languages. I mean, when you're thinking about it, it all depends which developer you want to be because there are different types of blockchain developer. If you want to program the financial flows, what does it mean? It means that you want to add code to the blockchain. You have to learn Solidity. Solidity is a programming language which is kind of like JavaScript, it's kind of like C Sharp, like Java. It's very easy to learn if you already know a programming language like C++ or C Sharp or JavaScript. All of these uh, object-oriented languages, you will get the hang of Solidity very, very quickly. And Solidity is all about describing and programming so-called smart contracts. So smart contracts, it's a very bad name, but it basically means it, an application on the blockchain. It's a small piece of code on the blockchain, a script on the blockchain. It's better to call it a script because it's not like a full-fledged app. It's just a small script that you put on the blockchain and it basically decides where the money goes. If this person sends money to this smart, smart contract, to this uh, script, what will the script do? Will the script give it to someone else? Will the script hold it? Will the script give you some other token in return? Will the script give you some kind of NFT in return? Will the script send it to another script that will maybe send it to some other script and then you get some, uh, some uh, interest or you get something else. So it's all about programming in Solidity. Programming in Solidity is easy to start, difficult to master, because as I told you, starting with Solidity is like C Sharp or Java or JavaScript. It's the same, basically. It's very much the same. But mastering it is difficult because you have so many different mistakes you could make where you could mess up the money flow and the, the some kind of outside hacker can mess with your program and make it behave in ways you never thought would be possible. So it's a lot of things to learn if you want to be good at it. But if you want to get started, it's easy to get started. Very, very easy. And when you're doing this, you're programming smart contracts. Now, smart contracts, anyone can read them and interact with them. This is the most important thing. Anyone can read the variables and the, the state of the smart contract and anyone can try to execute functions in the smart contract. So you can think of a smart contract like a class in Java or a class in C, uh, in C Sharp or C++. You have different functions. Some of them are read only, which means that they don't really change the state of the blockchain. They don't move money, but maybe they just tell you how many people are using this smart contract. Maybe they just tell you some simple calculation without changing the state of the blockchain. That's read functions. And then you have run functions or write functions where they actually change the state of the blockchain. So you normally have different restrictions. Who can call which functions? Maybe only the person that created the smart contract can, can call a certain function. So you can have different types of access, different types of permissions, but anyone can try reading and running the functions in your smart contract. So that is the type of developer number one. Now, how do you learn Solidity? We have a full course on our academy. If you go to ivanontech.com, you come to our academy. It looks like this. And then if you go to courses, you see that we do have Ethereum programming, Ethereum DApp programming. Here you will learn everything. So go to ivanontech.com if you are interested, because here we have a huge community. We help you with all of that. So Solidity is number one, and uh, it's very easy to start if you know already JavaScript or Java or something like that, a normal programming language. Now, the second programming language is JavaScript. I mean, JavaScript is used a lot. For example, if you use Morales in order to build your application, you can do most of it in JavaScript. And JavaScript is a lot, uh, is used a lot when it comes to off-chain, to off, uh, in order to build your front-end, in order to fetch... Uh, off-chain, oh my God, off-chain, in order to fetch data from the blockchain, in order to index it, it's a lot of work that you as an app developer have to do when you've done your smart contracts. Smart contracts, it's, it's very important. It is the money flows, but maybe it's just 10% of the code base. I mean, literally, it, it's a very small 
percentage of the code base that is the smart contract. The majority of the code base is still going to be in JavaScript. For example, you're programming using Morales, you're programming using other libraries in order to build your application in order to uh, read from chain. For example, in Morales, you would uh, do different things like fetching NFT balances, fetching historical transactions, fetching real-time transactions. I mean, all of that. It is very simple, but it does require uh, JavaScript. So that's something you need to understand. The JavaScript, it's maybe the biggest programming language in crypto. Yes, it's not used for programming money flows to program block blockchain, but it is used to make something useful. So if you know JavaScript already, you can use Morales to quickly get up to speed and build things that work. You build dApps that work. You can build wallet, NFT marketplace. You can build anything you want with JavaScript, but you will not be able to add your own logic, your own transaction types, your own handling of money on chain, but you can use other existing smart contracts. And for many dApps, that's more than enough. So JavaScript is the second, of course, you can use Python. There are different, different libraries like Brownie and so on and so forth. But in my experience, it is a bit less that people use Python and crypto for different things. Uh, mostly it is Solidity, mostly it is JavaScript. So if you want to focus on something, I would focus on these two languages uh, mostly right now, Solidity and JavaScript. When it comes to which kind of chains you can build on, you can build on all chains using Solidity. You can build on Ethereum, you can build on Binance Chain, you can build on Polygon, you can build on Avalanche, you can build on Cardano, on their KVM, because all blockchains now support EVM. So Solidity really started with the Ethereum project, because Ethereum project built this Ethereum virtual machine, and here is where most of the developers are. 90% of crypto developers, they're building for the EVM. So other chains like Binance Chain, Poly uh, Polygon, Avalanche, they also implement EVM because EVM is open source. So they take the same execution environment so that they can also have the same developers that build on Ethereum, also building on Binance Chain, on Polygon. So EVM is like this standard of uh, blockchain smart contract execution environment. It is everywhere. It's kind of like JVM, you know, Java Virtual Machine. When Java, Java was huge, and it's still huge, but when it was even bigger for desktop applications, you remember that you had to install JVM, you can run applets in your browser, you can run uh, Java apps on your machine, on macOS, on Linux, ever you could run it. And the same thing is, is EVM now. You run, you run your smart contract everywhere. And if you use Morales, the same also applies to your JavaScript, that you can use your code in order to interact with all blockchains using a simple SDK that is unified. It is unifying all blockchains. Now, with Solidity only, you cannot build for Solana. So Solana, unfortunately, you cannot build. If you want to build on Solana, you have to use Rust. But Morales supports this as well but you yourself have to figure out how to launch smart contracts. So to summarize, for most things, Solidity JavaScript is enough. If you want Solana, you can still use the Morales platform in order to build most of your app, but in order to build smart contracts there, you need Rust. So I hope it clarifies. I hope you now understand a bit better how this industry works, what kind of uh, things you can achieve. And if you are already a blockchain developer, sign up for the Chainlink Hackathon. You can find the link below, but basically Chainlink has their fall hackathon and Morales is sponsoring. So you have $50,000 up for grabs for anyone who uses Morales in this hackathon. So you find the link below, join it. We just announced it and I hope to see you there, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day and goodbye, guys. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.